going to go through a, a presentation. He's going to show you what's available. He's going to he's going to tell you the communities are available, what's coming up. So please pay close attention to what Tony has to say and he'll give out his uh, contact information. We'll send it to everybody even after the training so you guys can have his info and please feel free to give him a call. Tony, how are you, brother? Good, good. Yeah, that would be the best um, to have everybody text me after or during um, with their contact info so I could send you some of the um, marketing videos that you could use to basically generate some more buyers for you guys. Um, so kind of from what Dailan touched on, so we have right now, we have four, um, four communities open right now. We have townhomes uh, from two and a, two bedroom, two and a half bathroom, from like 230, 240, up to single family in the 500 range. Um, so pretty much any buyer you guys are gonna come across will have a, a product for them. Um, we're opening up three more communities um, in the next two or three months. Um, I have another phase of, a, of a, a community of single family homes with no HOA, which is a big, uh, like one of the most common questions, something without HOA. Um, so I'm gonna have single family homes from about 390 to about five and change um, off of exit six. Most of these things are gonna be down south. Um, exit right now is gonna be every, everything exit six and down. So it's 288 south to exit one, um, right behind the, the outlet mall. I have four communities back there. Um, uh, what else we got? So a little bit about Theo Horn. It's the largest builder in the United States for the last 20 plus years. Um, we have great incentives for the buyers. More importantly, we have great incentives for the realtors. Um, we market more to realtors than buyers. Um, we're paying right now 5% commission on all our communities. Um, that anything um, signed from today through the 17th is getting paid 5% commission and must close by March 31st or March 30th, or the end of March. Um, we have... Uh, homes that are ready. I have homes that will be ready to turn in uh, beginning of February, um, March, and April. Um, there's a big problem with inventory right now. We got inventory. Um, I have different products. Um, I have incentives for buyers uh, for closing costs. Um, I have some communities that you have buyers closing on a home with around ten, eleven thousand dollars, and you're getting paid five percent commission. Awesome. I mean. That's, and getting at least minimal they're gonna get is a two and a, two and a half uh, FHA or 2.75 conventional. Um, that's, that's the worst they'll get. Um, that's, that's what we have with our own lender, DHI Mortgage, um, 2.5 on FHA, 2.75 on any conventional loans, as long as you qualify for the loan. Um, so you need like a six, six, 600 to 620 credit for an FHA and you're getting a two and a, a two and a half, which you really can't find that anywhere else. Um, I have some other lenders as well that have some really good rates as well. Um, I've gotten down to a 1.99 FHA with a small buy down of like 1500 bucks. Um, but other, other, otherwise you'll be at about a uh, six, 640 credit score. You're at like two and a quarter. Um, again, those are rates that you, can't go wrong. Um, what else we got? Um, I have ten. I have ten thousand uh, dollars for incentives for closing costs. Minimal on all all the communities right now. I have some with twelve, um, and then the new ones that will be opening up. I don't know the, the I don't know the commissions. I don't I don't know the commissions. I don't know the incentives. I don't know the prices yet until we open. But I do have uh, two communities opening now in January. I have two more opening in March. We have stuff opening in April. There's going to be a lot of homes to sell for the near future. Um, anybody have any questions or anything? Yeah. Single single family homes, what are the name of the community? I know you got Baywood. Single family, and I'll, and I'll send this out to everybody as, long as, as soon as they send me their, their information. So we have Baywood. It's going to have single family. 
Baywood's going to range from about 4.06 to about 4.30 right now. Um, that's single family. I have Rosecrest. Rosecrest, we're currently sold out. We're opening up another phase on the 15th. There's going to be 84 more homes. Um, they should be around the same price, about 400 and up, about to 500. There, I'm going to have three twos with a two-car garage up to a five, three and a half, 2,900 square feet with in-lock quarters. So we have a couple homes, a couple models that have in-lock quarters or next gen. Basically, you're going to have like an apartment part of the, as part of the home. Um, and then I have another community called Heritage Ranches opening up in March. Those are going to be about 15,000 plus square foot lots. Um, so they're going to be large, large lots, um, large homes. I don't know the prices. I'm going to assume they're going to start over 450. Um, there's going to be about 28 homes in that community. Um, so there's a, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of, of, of homes coming soon. I have townhomes. I have from, like I said, two, two twos, two, two and a halves to four threes, ranging from about 230 to 295. I have a lot of inventory, a lot of inventory to turn in um, by February. So those are the buyers that can't find anything and they're getting desperate. It's the perfect opportunity to get them in something. You know, people don't want to go down south, but they're running out of options at this point because there's nothing else. Yeah, one, one thing I've noticed that a lot of our agents are doing is, uh, myself included, I have, let's say I have a buyer, he's approved for a resale, and then I end up showing them a few properties, but it's not the one, but once you take him down south, which at the, at the beginning, they're like, I don't want to go, it's too far, but this community, most of them, and Tony, correct me if I'm wrong, they're like right next to the turnpike. Yeah, so that's 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 the other that's the that's that's the main pitch that I use. So people don't want to they're, they're shopping in West Kendall, but they don't want to go down south. If any of you guys have gone to do a showing at five o'clock on Miller and 157th Avenue, it takes you longer than to get to Key Largo. You know, yeah. it's there's there's traffic. All our communities are right off right off the turnpike, all the way to exit one, and you know you you you're you're eliminating all that tr that, that drive through the streets that you have to go to West Kendall. Um, plus you're buying with half the money. Uh, insurance is a third. So all of these single family homes are paying 1200, 1400 bucks uh, a year on insurance. And when you're looking right now, insurance on a resale home is skyrocketing right now. You're looking at three, four, $5,000 for a single family uh, used home. So that's saving. So that's, so that's saving buyers a lot, of, a lot of money. And so, like Dalan was saying, he, he'll bring up, he'll have a buyer. Let's say you guys already have a buyer that's pre-approved. They're pre-approved for two fifty, and you can't find anything for two fifty. They might be able to get pre-approved for like two eighty, two ninety with new construction, because of the money they're saving on the insurance, the money they're saving on the interest rate, that gives them a little bit more buying power. So, like if they're saving, let's say the insurance from a thousand. For new construction, they were gonna they were getting quoted out three thousand dollars a year. That's gonna save them almost two hundred bucks a month, or give them two hundred more bucks a month in buying power. That right there is gonna give them an extra forty grand. Yeah, to buy. So that's how they're they're getting qualified. So I, I try to I try to ask more what payments they want to be at or what payment they're qualified for, rather than what purchase price because the purchase price is not not doesn't really determine the like what which home I can put them in. Yeah. So, and this has happened uh, time and time again. Uh, we had a buyer, uh, Marcos. He was approved for 350, and that's a perfect example. Yeah. He was approved for 350. He didn't think he was going to be able to pay more. But then, and, and even, even when we asked how much you want to pay a month, he said, I don't want to pay more than this amount. Right. I forgot the amount of what it was, but let's say it was 2100 I ended up taking him to Tony. Tony showed him uh, Rosecrest, beautiful right. home. Well, we actually we actually started we actually started with him in Avella Park. We we're looking at twin homes. That's right. We started That's looking right. at twin homes in the three thirties, three twenties, and he ended up buying a four hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah, and he only and the and the price went up only the monthly. It went up what two hundred dollars. Yeah. He was super happy. Bigger yeah, home. No, no, no HOA. No HOA. Bigger home. I mean, you never know. So one of one of the things we suggest is like just take him over. 
Let them see the, oh, the inventory. Yeah, Let them talk to Tony. Right. What I what I what I try to like coach you guys to do is just call me. You got you just got a, a buyer looking for a three two. Call me and be like, hey, I got a buyer looking for a three two, more or less around the three fifty range or. 400 range they don't want to pay more than 22 2300 do you have anything and at that point I'll, I'll see what i have typically around like right now if you ask me today i need a a, a single family i don't want to pay more than 2400 i have a I have a bunch they're going to be exit exit one or two from about 405 to 416 it's still going to be fha and you're going to be paying right around 24 2400 bucks you know so i have i have option but that's the easier way to go around about it rather than just show up down there you know, and then it's it's better know already what I have. I'll send you some of the videos. You could even show it to the buyers. Look, this is what it is. Once they see a brand new house, they're gonna want it. It's it's, it's a big difference. It's like a brand new car. Seeing a used car and a, and a new car, you're always gonna want the the new. Especially when you're coming out of pocket less. Like like for Marco, if he was gonna buy that resale, he bought that and he probably came out of pocket 15, 20 grand. No, it right, didn't right. Yeah, less than 20 grand. I think he ended right. up paying eighteen thousand dollars for the down payment. That's it. Right. He went FHA. Yep. Right. So FHA, he's buying a four hundred thousand dollar house with with eighteen grand, and that's probably because he had to, because it was a little out of the FHA range. Right. 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 Otherwise, that same house resale, he's coming out of pocket the down payment plus closing costs. You know. So and that that turns out that same house is a 30, 35 grand. Yep. You're even converting some re renters into buyers. I've had that done with Will. Had a, a, a renter converted into a buyer by just um, they like they were looking for a rental like twenty five hundred bucks a month. He's like, I could get you into a house, probably paying like twenty two, twenty three hundred, and you're coming out of pocket twelve grand. At twenty five hundred, you need seventy five hundred bucks just to move in on a rental plus application. You're like eight grand with three or four grand more. You're buying a house. And people don't realize that they can get into a house with so little money. And that's that's one of the big the big selling point. Yeah, guys. So when in doubt, if you don't think uh, the buyer or you're having issues with a buyer showing them resale properties and, and you don't think that they'll they'll drive down, just just ask them to be open, you know, to be open minded. Have them, if, you know, you just take a drive. Give me a text. I'll talk to them on the phone with you. I mean, whatever, whatever needs to get done. To, to at least get them out there. Once they're out there, it's a big difference. It's once they see the property, once they see the quality of the construction, yeah. and they see that the drive is not that bad, we'll you know things will happen. So this is what we'll do for for you guys today. I said thank you for joining us, and and Tony, I'll send you the list of the agents that that join, so you can send out the, the videos. Yeah, I'll shoot them a, yeah, I'll shoot them a text. I'll send you stuff through uh, WhatsApp. I'll send you some videos some of the, the inventory list I have now, so you can have an idea of the prices. Um, I'll send you the 5% uh, flyer so you can remember that it's 5% commission. And the fi that 5% is big. That's like, you're selling a, a $300,000 home, it's like selling almost a $600,000 home. You yeah. know, it's, a, it's, it's a big, big chunk. That's a, that's a great way to start the year. So I'll, I'll make sure that you guys get all this information. I'll make sure that you guys have Tony's information. I'll give Tony uh, the list of you guys as a thank you for joining us. So Tony can reach out to you guys directly and send you uh, the information and the videos. Please use this information to post it and share with your clients. And like I said at the beginning of this training today, uh, reach out to past clients, but reach out to people that you know, friends, family, anybody, and just give them the information. You never know who they might refer you to or if they're going to use it themselves. Yeah. Does yeah. anybody have any questions or any clients they have currently that 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 they want to you know kind of have an idea of? I was just gonna say real quick, I've been to see the properties that Tony's talking about. They look spectacular. They really do a great job of uh, decorating them in a way that the clients can really see themselves in the home. They look great. Plus the comment that he made about tenants. It's been my experience that tenants are usually a little more flexible with area. So that might be the right way to get them started. Hey, look, this doesn't have to be your forever home. You move into one of these properties for a while, build some equity, and we'll find you another house somewhere else. If, if, if not, and you have a, a property there building equity for you or possibly a, a rental income. Yeah, especially with getting getting in early to some of these communities when they first open up. We, we bump up prices every month. We bump up prices every six sales. So I have people that bought in uh, Seascape, one of the communities that opened up a couple of weeks ago. They already have 
like seven, eight thousand dollars in equity just from us bumping up prices. You know, so and with these interest rates being so low, you're you're building a, a client that's in the future in three, four years is gonna sell a house, cash out 60, 80 grand, and be buying another home, you know. Tony, what is the time frame for uh, construction? Um, so single story, three months, two story, four months. But I have, but I have, I have, I have homes already being built. I have homes already built. Um, okay. You know, that's a big difference between us and and some of the other smaller builders, even like other bigger builders, Lenar, Ryan Homes. Ryan Homes takes nine months. Lenar is taking eight, nine months at some homes. Um, they're not going to pay you the same commissions. Their interest rates are way higher. So even if you come and the buyers like, oh, I want to go check out the other communities. I gladly, I tell, I, I'll even call some of the sales reps I know, and then they get mad because I tell them, look, go check out Ryan Holmes, go check out Lenar, ask them what your payment's going to be, ask them what your cash to close is going to be, uh, ask them what the interest rate's going to be, and you'll come back like in an hour. So I'll, I'll be here waiting. Right. It's, it's really simple. I mean, if we, what the deal wise, we're, we're always going to win. The only reason I lose a sale to Ryan Holmes or Lenar is. Either they have homes in exit nine and somebody doesn't want to drive an extra 10 minutes down to save 300 bucks a month, or they have a home that I don't have anything remotely close to and they fall in love because they want a house on a lake and with a balcony on the second floor and I don't have anything like that. That's the only okay. reason. Otherwise, they always end up coming back. Plus, you guys, there's another another part that's good to talk to you guys here without the buyers is, so on, if they're looking at new construction and you're looking at the other builders, leverage your commission you know we're paying five percent at times sometimes six if you go to the other builders and they're giving let's say they have they have, they have really good incentives this month and it's very close but you're only making two percent at, at another builder you come back you, if you if you try to sell ours at five percent throw the buyers back something help them with some closing costs throw a washer dryer throw something to them That'll lead them back to here because even if you give up a, a percent of your commission, you're still going to make four versus two. So you're always going to win. So that's that's something yeah. I use to leverage back to bring them back to us anyways. If, if it's something that they can't decide, well, look, how about I help you decide with some money? You know, that, that always works. Yeah, good point. All right, guys, any other questions from anybody? All right. So, okay. So um, just keep that in mind. I'm going to send everybody uh, Tony's information. Tony, I'll send you the list of everybody that attended so you can share the info with them as well. And uh, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to reach out to Tony. Um, he's very knowledgeable into this. Just take them to the client and you'll see how, how the client will react to the information and to the construction and everything, the inventory that they have. This is a good time because remember, we've been talking about the issue that, that we continue to have moving forward in 2021 is the lack of inventory, low interest rate, and high demand. So if we need inventory, why not new construction? So again, reach out to Tony, text him, call him, email him, and he'll be more than happy to help you out um, to reach your goals as far as um, you know, helping getting buyers happily settled. So with that said, guys, if you don't have any other questions, Tony, anything else you want to add? Um, no, I mean, that's, I mean, that covers the most of it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'll have some more one-on-one, -on -one, uh, talks when they start reaching out. Um, and we'll cover a lot more of the, the other questions and uh, that they, that they have. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, it, it's a, it's a, it's a really good tool. Um, I'm, I'm working for the builder now. I wish I knew as much as I did about new construction when I was, you know, in the general real estate, it's a, it's a really easy sell and it's a lot, a lot of commission. So. All right, Tony, thank all you right. so much. Really appreciate having you. Thank you, Tony, for all your time. No, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Tony, take care. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today for Real Estate Friday. I hope that information was very uh, useful and we'll, I will send you the contact info for, for Tony. Uh, if he shares the information with me, I'll send it to you, but since you have it, feel free to reach out to him for more information. With that said, thank you. Have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday.
with my son. Great weekend, guys. Sure. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Take care.